Hi, this is Amy. I am the Education Librarian here at UNCG, and today I'm going to talk to you about library resources that will help you with your assignment for RCO 203. So before we get started, I want to talk to you a little bit about how you can get help. Um, even though the library building is closed, we are still providing help for students who need help finding resources through our chat. So you can see there's a link right here that says chat with a librarian. This is the library's homepage, library.uncg.edu, clicking on chat with a librarian. And you can see here this box um, is available, so there's somebody there who can help you if you need resources after today. You're also welcome to email me directly if you have questions. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go to the research guide for this class. So in order to get there from the library's homepage, we're going to click on this link that says Research Guides by Subject. And we're going to scroll down until we see Residential Colleges. And then on the left is a link that says RCO203. There's me over here on the right. So what we have here are some sources that will help you find biographical information um, about your educational philosophers. So the first one that we're going to take a look at is called Biography, Gale in Context. Um, so I'm just going to open that up. And if you're off campus, it will ask you to log in. It didn't ask me. So here we have a search box. So I'm going to type in Booker T. Washington. And up here at the top, you can see some quick facts about Booker T. Washington. You can see a photo. You can see a little bit of biographical information here. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, I'm actually going to start with this featured content. This is an article about Booker T. Washington from a book series that's called Contemporary Black Biography. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see here we have a lot of information, uh, biographical information about Booker T. Washington, about his life, about his work. Um, there's some more information. Here's a list of his writings, um, further readings, other books that you can read about him. And then down here at the bottom is a citation. Um, so that's very helpful because some of these things can be a little difficult to cite because they are they were once in books that are now published online, so it can be a little complicated. So you can use this to help you out. This is the MLA citation. Just make sure that you're looking at the correct one. Also, in addition to just that biography, which I think is probably going to be extremely helpful, it is. there is some other cool stuff in here as well. There's some scholarly journal articles. Um, I think something that's really cool is these primary sources. This section here is called primary sources. So this first one is called Theodore Roosevelt and Booker T. Washington. And let's see, it actually looks like it's some letters that were exchanged between Lucius Litauer, Curtis Guild. I don't know. Anyway, um, so they are, it, it's really nice. It explains, it gives you an introduction. It gives you a significance. So it looks like this, um, this letter was written after uh, Teddy Roosevelt invited Booker T. Washington to dinner at the White House. And it was the first time that an African-American had been invited to dine with the president before. So guess what? The South was not happy about that. Um, and Roosevelt was not happy that they were not happy. So you can see some letters that were exchanged between um, some folks about people's feelings written in fancy words. So again, down here at the bottom, you can see a citation to that. Um, if you think that looking at primary sources is interesting, in this case, it might be really cool. Um, there's some other options in here as well. There's a speech by Booker T. Washington, an address delivered before the National Colored Teachers Association. So there might be some cool stuff in there as well. Um, we got some more images, all sorts of stuff. So this is Gale in Context Biography. 
And um, just so you know, I'm going to be looking through these and just giving you an example for each one. I, if Booker T. Washington is not the person that your group chose, just type in the name of your philosopher in the box and you will find information about them as well. So the next one on our list is called Biography Reference Center. And I'm going to take a look at this one and take me just a minute to log in. And I'm going to search here for W.E.B. Du Bois. Just kidding. I didn't spell it right. I mean, I spelled it right, but it didn't like the way I spelled it. It's usually not too picky about that. But in this case, I guess it wants the periods. Okay, so here we have one entry about W.E.B. Du Bois. And kind of similar, um, there are some biographies from some different encyclopedias. Um, here's one from, looks like that one's kind of a short one. Um, here's one that's called W.E.B. Du Bois, founder of the NAACP. And this looks like it's from a um, a book called Black Civil Rights Champions. So that sounds kind of interesting. So I'm going to click on that one. Actually, one thing that I'll point out to you is that this one says it's 16 pages long. Um, the one above it is two pages. So this one might be a little bit more helpful because it might have a little bit more in-depth information to read. Here we go. Okay, there's a lot of words here. Unfortunately, we can't see the photos, which is a bummer. But at least we got some good information as well. You got your kind of basic information up here. Um, we've got a, a link that's going to take us back to this page. Um, always look for like a permalink. That's what this one's called, permalink. If you want to share this source with your group mates, you can click on this and copy it and paste it. You can also email sources to yourself. And this one does also have a cite button. It's that little gold piece of paper. And if you click on that, you can see citations in various citation styles. I'm going to be really honest and say that this source, their citations typically aren't quite as good as the one in the other in the um, biography and context. So you might want to take a look at it and make sure that it looks okay um, before you turn it in. So that is Biography Reference Center. Uh, the next one I want to talk to you about is called Credo Reference. This is a really um, helpful starting point for lots of topics. It's not just biographies. You know, the first two that we looked at had biography in the title. And this is really a big collection of a bunch of different encyclopedias on a bunch of different topics. So I'm going to do a search for Aristotle in here. And I can see it's the same kind of same kind of thing. Um, it's got some basic information up here at the top. It's got a bunch of different links to encyclopedias. This one's kind of interesting because you can see that there's um, entries from all different types of encyclopedias. So this one is from the Astronomy Encyclopedia. So that's going to be cool because it's going to focus a little bit more on um, his discoveries related to astronomy. So you can kind of go through and see sort of different focuses on people depending on the type of source you choose. So this one's called the philosophy of science. Um, so that might be something might be relevant. There's one about Shakespeare, maybe not political thought. Um, so there's a lot of different choices in here. Also, this um, may have links to other sources other related searches. So if you want to find some other um, information about, you know, things that Aristotle talked about or something like that, you can do that in Credo as well. So Credo is a really cool source. Um, it does also have the citation. Again, just make sure that you are choosing MLA as your citation style. And again, it is automatically generated. So we have the library catalog here. You can search for books. Um, you know, you're going to want to search for ebooks, but it can be helpful for finding works by your philosopher. Um, let's see. I'm just going to do a quick search for Aristotle. 
And of course, what I will do at this point is I'm going to make sure that I limit to ebooks because you can get your hands on those right now from wherever you happen to be right now. So you can see there's several books here about Aristotle, by Aristotle. Um, so you can read as long as you click on that limiter over here on the left that says ebook, you can read all of these books um, from anywhere that you are. And then finally, I want to talk to you a little bit about two online sources. So all the things that we've looked at so far have been things that are um, owned by Jackson Library, but these two um, are actually freely available internet sites, and normally, you know, you have to be pretty careful about that, um, but these are actually really amazing resources. This one is called the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Yes, that's Stanford. You can see, if you look at it, it tells you a little bit about, you know, who's in charge of this thing. Um, it's gotten funding from a lot of big, important grants. Um, it has this editorial board that's got a bunch of fancy people in it. Um, so all these people are experts on these particular subjects, and they evaluate these entries before they're included, and they actually go in and look at them periodically just to make sure that they're still accurate. Um, so this is a great website, and it is something, like I said, that is freely available. So I can do a search for Rousseau in here, and there's quite a lengthy biography. You can see when it was first published. It was revised in 2017. Um, you can see here it's got this huge list of subtopics that you can click on. Um, it's, it, these are quite lengthy and very in-depth pieces of information. So this is a, a really, really good source to use. Um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see um, well, maybe I scrolled down too far. Hold on. You can see the author's name, and then you can see how to cite this entry. This one just, there you go. So there's your, there's a citation. It's That one's actually not quite MLA, but um, you could turn it into MLA pretty quickly. Um, so that's the Stanford Encyclopedia. And again, you can just put in a name, and some information should pop right up. And then last but not least is the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy, which does sound a little a little sketchy. I get that. But it's actually similar. Um, this is from, I think it's the University of Tennessee at Martin. Um, and so you can see you've got these folks here who are the editors. They both work at, um, well, sorry, one of them works at University of Tennessee at Martin. The other one works at Cal State Sacramento. And again, they have these. Um, experts that are reviewing the content, um, and they are all fancy experts in their topics. So this is another online resource that is going to have some really good information for you. Um, so I have not searched for Plato yet, so I'll just pop Plato in there and see what's going on in here about Plato. Um, this is nice because it does link to other related people. So, you know, I'm interested in seeing how Plato was influenced by the Pythagoreans. So I can click on that and jump over to that encyclopedia entry. Again, it looks really similar to the Stanford Encyclopedia. This one is really long with lots of citations. That's always another good um, thing to keep in mind that they have cited a lot of sources. You've also got um, some further readings, and then the author information is down here at the bottom of the page. So this is another really helpful resource. So the good news is you've got a lot of options for really reliable resources on this topic. Um, if you're not sure how to cite encyclopedia articles, which is what these basically are, there's a link over here on this side that says how to cite encyclopedia articles. And you can see how to cite online subject encyclopedias from a database. That is the example that I would follow. And it will give you all the pieces of information that you need to have in order to cite it correctly. So just to sum up, we've got a lot of great sources that you can use. Um, we've got the three library sources, Biography and Context, 
Biography Reference Center, Credo Reference. We've got the library catalog, which you can use to find books, ebooks on your topic. And then we have the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy and the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Again, please feel free to use the chat service or feel free to reach out to me directly if you have any questions. Thanks for listening.